Let's get started. I'm gonna hide my face so it's not going to be distracting. Okay, so I'll start with the drawing first. I can find my pencil. Sorry, it's going to, it's a little bit messy today. I just tucked my kids in. So this is, okay. Pencil is on the floor. All right. Okay, so let's get started. So I will start by just doing the, by just doing the drawing. Drawing will be very, very basic. So, The misty morning, eh, probably not going to be more challenge. It just it just approach the painting differently. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so for this, we're not going to do a lot of drawing. Uh, mostly, we're just going to indicate where the trees are and the horizon. The funny thing about this one is that the road is actually going up a little bit, so the horizon is actually somewhere around here. And another fun fact is that was well, not fun fact. We guys can all see it. It's so misty, you don't see the horizon. The horizon fades off into the distance so there's really not a lot of drawing to be done here we'll draw we'll paint we'll draw the car okay that's one of the only thing that's a little bit more structural and i i'm thinking to snug a figure here not quite sure yet just to make this painting a little bit more relatable so let's see here Okay, so, so I'm just gonna really quickly sketch a figure here. Okay, so let me kind of zoom it in so you guys can see it a little bit better. I will start by doing the car first. Okay, so the car again, very, very easy. Well, I'm not gonna, I shouldn't say very, very easy. I just do it a lot of times so come in a little bit easier for me one of the thing that doing car is important is that knowing your perspective okay which is something that I go over in my course we don't have a lot of time to go over it because every time I draw cars and stuff I eyeball a lot of it okay but if you have time, practice drawing a car in perspective. That's going to help out a lot. Okay, there's another car over here. A tiny little bit higher. Okay, a little bit more into the distance here. And there's just another car here. And you know and it just keep going up and so and there's a car here very very loose okay okay i draw a car great i try to be uh but you should see some industrial designer when they draw vehicles and hard surface is amazing okay I know some concept artists whose backgrounds are industrial designer. They can draw some spaceship and stuff incredibly. Okay, I just get by. Okay, so the figure here, I don't have a photo with me. So I am just going to improvise. So, you know, cold morning, cold misted morning. So I'm thinking to have somebody who wears a hoodie. A very typical Seattle outfit. The guy was hoodie, and uh, that's the shoulder. One shoulder up, one shoulder down a little bit, and the leg. Okay, so just kind of walking along in the street. So. If you look at the where the feet is and the tire is, okay, that gives you the clue that the car is further away. That's why the figure is bigger. Okay, if the car is is if the car the tire is at the same level 
of the feet the car is at the same depth then the car will be about this high so I think that's somewhat accurate okay so just a little bit of information just a little bit of information on, on perspective okay now let's erase uh, some of the messy line that we just draw okay the guy in the hoodie I just I will keep the hoodie actually kind of white okay. his social distancing well said <laughs> okay yeah but in all seriousness Washington has flattened the curve tremendously since the stay-at-home order is given out and people are doing their part so I am quite happy to see that okay. anyways so this time oops so this time I'm not going to use a sponge to wet the paper and stuff I'm just going to go straight for it and I'll try to make this step as simple as possible okay so there's going to be quite a bit of wet on wet but I'm going to try to make it a little bit simpler for you guys okay so it should be a little bit easier for you guys to follow again you can paint along with me or you can just watch okay if you're not confident enough I suggest you to start by watching first so first of all my palette is absolutely filthy but this time I'm not going to clean it I'm just going to grab some water clean it with my brush like that and look what do I have with it I have a nice dirty well I'm not gonna call it dirty just a nice gray color that I can use How about that All right so New York is too yeah we're going to survive everybody doing their part staying at home and if you are anybody who is in the medical industry helping out uh, you have you know please note that we really appreciate your hard work okay all right so this dirty water this dirty paint this nice beautiful gray just came my clean my palette with my big brush and let's just use this how nice is that that's just a nice neutral gray here just grab whatever color you have because my palette consistent with warm and cool color when you mix both together you get a nice neutral gray okay the paper I'm using today is a Chinese brand called Bao Hong and this is actually a student grade paper but don't be fooled by when they're saying student grade is actually still very very good okay now I'm going to start adding a little bit more color Burnt Umber and Cobalt Blue makes a very nice neutral gray. We will stay a little bit on the cooler side, so add a little bit more Cobalt Blue. That gives you a nice cool gray. Okay. Okay, when you doing a wash down like that okay don't keep going back and try to fix or whatever it is okay keep it nice and consistent now I'm gonna add just a little bit more paint make it just a fraction darker and the reason we do that is we are approaching well, we're already kind of past the horizon and there's stuff going on in the distance, okay? We probably just don't see it. Okay. Okay, a little bit more blue. Okay, you got that? Alright, so I'm going to skip around a little bit, okay? There's some cars and stuff in the background, so I'm just gonna skip a little bit around randomly, suggest some distant highlights, whatever. 
Okay, so there's a guy with a hoodie. I'm gonna leave it light. Okay. Okay, just a little bit highlight on the top. The rest of it we can paint over. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's the only thing I'm going to show you. The rest of it, I'm just going to paint over that. Okay, again, leave a little bit of highlight on top. If you cannot, don't stress about it. Okay, this is the first wash. Again, first wash, light and atmosphere. Not much of a light here because it's uh, just like morning, overcast, foggy morning. So not much of the lighting. So all the lighting you see is they are ambient lighting. So I'm gonna grab some water, dry my brush a little bit. Don't go in soaking wet, okay? A little bit, dry a little bit, soften this edge. Soften it, okay? All right, now we're gonna go back to be a little bit darker again with a little bit more warmth. So right now I've been only using two colors, cobalt blue and burnt umber. Adding a little bit more burnt umber, you get warmer gray. Adding a little bit more cobalt blue, you get cooler gray. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm gonna make it just a little bit warmer. There we go. Just a tiny bit warmer. Okay, some more paint. And wrap up my very first wash. Okay, simple enough. There's a little hair here i don't like it but you know what whatever we'll take it out once it is dry don't worry about it okay so far so good okay so that's the first wash okay um if you're watching a replay take a pause try to get to this stage then resume okay so normally Normally, I'm just gonna go in and start painting, doing some wet onto wet, but you know, I want to keep it a little bit simpler. So I'm going to blow it dry to make it kind of completely dry, then re-wet the surface and start to do some wet onto wet. Okay, that's one of the way that you can have a little bit better control when it comes to doing the wet onto wet. Because right now, the top part, they are at the damp stage and it's very, very, it's a very very um dangerous stage because at the damp stage if you're making it a little bit too wet it's going to explode into cauliflower edges so i'm going to blow it dry and start painting on it on a second layer let me just plug in my hair dryer real quick sorry about that all right, let me mute my mic. Okay, so the top part is pretty much dry. The bottom, I don't need to worry about that much right now. Okay, so we'll start with the distant background to foreground, okay? Still a little bit of moisture in it, but I think it's dry enough for us to work, okay? The paper will warp, okay? Some people ask, why your paper never warp? It warps, look at it, look at the shadow, it will warp, okay? When you wet the paper, especially doing a big wet wash, it's going to warp. Okay, it's just that I just work with it and I use a block so it's going to the edge is going to stay the same. 
All right, so I am going to let me clean my brush a little bit. Now I can use the water here. It's a little bit dirty, but still relatively clean. I'm just gonna use this one. And now let's look at where we want our soft distant trees. Okay, so the horizons around here and the rows going up. So like the trees are going to be around this area. So that's wet our brush a little bit. Now I'm again I don't want a soaking wet, so Fickle a little bit on the edges. Okay, shake it a little bit. Now I'm going to wet some of this area. Make sure your paper is nice and dry. Okay, if you do this when it is still damp, you're done. <laughs> the the wash it will be ruined. Okay, just lightly wet it. Okay, wet it lightly. Don't keep scraping. Okay. Now, I am going to use my Escoda Versatile. Okay, now, one thing about wet on to wet is that you want to keep your mixture somewhat dry. You don't want it to give it like a very, very wet mixture. It's not like your first wash. You have a little bit of, I'm actually going to use a little bit of Cobalt Black. It's a little bit granulation there. I think that might look interesting. Okay. Get a little bit of cobalt turquoise. We'll keep it cool here. Okay. The dark tree. And there's. We'll do the distant tree first. Okay. Let me do a test here. Just do this. Okay. That's nice and soft. Okay. Okay. Actually, I might actually need to make it even, even drier, but let's just do this for now, okay? Now, I'll look at the photo and look at my painting. Where do I want the trees to be? So the tree is going to be here, okay? Now, beyond this point, it's going to be dark trees, so doesn't matter, okay? It's, you're going to cover it up with dark trees. So it doesn't matter, do this, I don't care, okay? Just have fun with it, okay? The only place matter is here, okay? You want to have a little bit of nice soft silhouette, those foggy trees in distance, a little bit of hide and seek edges, lost and found edges, okay? Okay, and... Okay, some trees here in the distance, way into the background, okay? So there is a little bit of hard edges here because I think I didn't wet some of the areas, but that's fine, actually. You, you know, if you have a mixture of hard and soft edges, I think that can actually be a very nice thing to have. Okay. Yep, I just paint a smiley face. Seriously, guys, this is supposed to make it fun, okay? So don't stress if you know your your painting doesn't come out as good or doesn't come out as how you expect it. It's okay, okay? Okay, a little bit stuff in the distance. Use the tip of your brush. This, you know. It could be houses. You can barely see anything beyond this point. You're just fox. It's all foggy and it's a misty morning. Nice, beautiful, misty morning. Okay. Hi, Pally. So good to see you. How's Malaysia? Is Are you guys... Are you guys safe and healthy? Okay, try to make your brush big, okay? Big brush stroke. Don't, I know I said use the tip of your brush, but don't do it everywhere. Couple areas and that's about it, okay? That's it, okay? That's, that's all you need to do here. Okay, I'm gonna 
Continue this down a little bit. Paint into the car. Just like my painting better than a photo thank you that's very kind of you it's very hard to compete with nature I'm just trying to do my best and that's the thing when you're trying to paint your own painting don't try to compete it with photo okay paint your own painting use photo as reference and just try to have fun with it you may try to work with watercolor Okay, and nice damp brush. I'm just gonna soften the rest of the edges here. Okay, now this is going to be a darker tree, so let's not worry about it. But I can already connect that into the car here. Should I'm gonna make the highlight a little bit. I'm just gonna paint over it. I don't think we need that much highlight here. Before I like overemphasize on the highlight a little bit too much, we really don't need that many highlights. It's a little bit of habit, bad habit. Okay, there's going to be a shadow down here, you know, just paint, whatever. Okay, I'm going to spray a little bit, okay, into the distance. Okay, yeah, don't bother with these. Okay, so I'm going to paint the road here, okay? It gets a little bit too light. So I'm going to mix a neutral gray, a little bit more to the warmer side again. Whoa, I just add a weird color. I think I added. Okay, this needs to be a little bit darker. Okay, so it's a little bit hard to judge looking at this and you don't know what's going to happen on your painting. So that, you know, of course, always come with experience, but also just a little bit of yeah come with experience and as you are getting used to the property of watercolor how it's going to react it's not going to be that difficult anymore okay so i'm going to soften the edges here so it's still a soft edge and for the rest of it i'm just going to get down here Makes a little bit more mixtures. Make it darker down here. And no, I'm not going to make a west tree this time. Okay, just just a nice foggy street. Okay. All right, second wash. That's it. Okay. Smiley face is here. We'll cover him up later. Okay, so that's the first wash. The first wash is those trees in the distance, like way in the distance. I'm going to paint another tree here, which is our second layer. And then our third layer will be this big dark tree here in the car and define a figure. And that will be it. Okay, it's really, really simple. Just take each step, think about what you're going to do and do it. And it shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, let me take a sip of water. Excuse me here. All right, so I'm just gonna continue on. It's still a little bit damp, but I think a little bit of wetness will help 
will help me to make some nice soft edge. So this time, really make sure your mixture is nice and dry. Okay. Okay, here. Oops, sorry, let me take off my jacket. It's getting a little bit hot in here. Always happen after I do a little bit of painting. I'm starting to get warm. Quite a bit of workout for some reason. Okay, so make sure it's nice and dark. Okay, I'll add a little bit of cobalt turquoise just to add a little bit hints of green in it. But this painting is very monochromatic. I guess it's what makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I will start from the top. Okay, so right here, okay, just don't try to copy all the detail. It's not worth it, okay? Just a little bit, play with your brush stroke a little bit and just let the shape do its work for you. Let the brush work. Okay. Don't keep repeating your brush stroke. Just let it dance on your paper. Okay. Okay. Now we need a little bit more branch and leaves here. Okay. I'm trying to make this painting simple but fun. Okay. And how should I say this? It's simple to do, but you can still make it into a very sophisticated painting if you want to. Okay, the process, I want to keep it simple for you guys. Okay, so this is not for me to show off my skill or anything. I'm just trying to let you guys have something to have fun with. Okay, I need a little bit more mixture. I actually, I should pre-mix this mixture here so I don't run out. It's a bad habit. I should have done that. But I already start painting it, so yeah, I gotta just need to keep keep going. Okay, continue it down. Okay, so there's a couple leaves and stuff here. I've learned to be free with your tender teaching. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, don't stress about the result. I know it's hard to do, it's easier to sit than done, but if you care about the results so much and you're afraid to fail, that's not going to help you, okay? Failure is part of the learning process. I still fail numerous times, okay? I do some crappy paintings too. I just don't show you. <laughs> And you guys know, like, there's some days I do a live stream and I don't like how it ends up. And I did another one and you guys were there every step of the way. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know how this one is going to turn out. Just try to you know, have fun doing it. Okay. Again, rest of these doesn't matter that much okay I'm going to paint a darker tree here just to add a little bit more depth but the rest of it doesn't really matter okay I'm gonna grab a little bit of water clean my brush dry a little bit I'm gonna tap some water on it a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture and moisture so it's not so stiff looking
Um, yep, you guys all remember. I struggle with failure just like any of you. I'm And I was I was at Andy's workshop, and he said that himself too. He was like, "Oh, I just did a couple of really bad paintings last week." And of course, like his bad painting is our good paintings. <laughs> like his failed painting looks pretty good to me, but you know, by his standard, he thinks it's a bad painting. He thinks it's an unsuccessful painting. We all have different standards, so his standard. Is much higher than mine, and my standard will be different from yours too. So, but the point is that you know, sometimes we're just not satisfied with what we have, and that's fine. Okay, that's the rest of it. You know, just. Yeah, I'm not going to bother too much. I'm going to paint a darker one here, anyways. Okay. Okay. The only thing that you really want to watch out is your mixture. Okay. You don't want very very wet mixture at this stage. Okay. With in with each layer, your mixture should be a little bit darker and drier. Now, like my palette still look really transparent. But I know how wet my brush is. Okay, so like, it's just because I mix it like that. Okay, I, you know, my brush is going really wild here. But if I just do this, it's, you're going to see a little, a lot more paint here. Okay, so when I do this, most of the paints in my brush already, so you don't see a lot of colors on my palette. But you can be sure that the mixture is is darker and then it's a little bit drier. So I'm gonna do a little bit of car here. Keep it nice and loose. Okay. Okay. Another car here. Very very simple. Okay, so we got a car one two three. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with my figure just yet. Now let's do this side. Okay. This side. Uh, let's make dark gray just a little bit warmer. This. The fun thing about his painting is that you don't need to struggle with color a lot. Hey, thank you, thank you, Lee. Sorry, I'm not the best. I'm not the best person when it comes to name. I might mess up your name. Sorry. Okay, so this tree is the left tree that's in. Let me change the camera angle so my hand is not in the way. Okay, so this tree is the one on the left. I'm keeping it just a little bit warmer because sun is on the left very, very faintly because it's mostly in the fog, so you don't see it. But do see a little bit. And notice these are all just flat shape. <laughs> Like there's no shadows and light on the tree. They are just all flat shapes. So that's what makes this painting, you know, somewhat easy because you don't need to deal with all the lighting and stuff. All you really need to watch out for is the the wet onto wet. Okay, down here we get a little bit of softness because the paper is not completely dry yet. But that is great because I do want a little bit of softness here. Okay, so down here, not be careful not to paint into the figure. Okay, there's some yellow sign and stuff. I don't want to bother painting them. Not the point of the painting. I really just want to keep this painting 
very mis very misty and very subtle. Okay, so down here, let's start to make things a little bit darker. So a little bit more mixture. See, I don't go back to water now, okay? If you keep mixing color, adding more color, it's just going to be darker naturally. Okay, you're just mixing more opaque paint. Okay, I think this is good. So a little bit darker down here. There's more mist and light on the top. A little bit darker in the bottom so here we go I'm just going to mix that okay the tree location is different my tree is a little bit more shift to the left to the right so the car actually kind of got merged into the tree doesn't matter this is my painting do whatever I want okay when it's your painting you paint whatever you want as long as it looks good to you, doesn't matter. Okay. It's so good to know, Ling. Nothing makes me happier when people find my video calming and relaxing. And I think with all the tension in this world right now, it's that's what I really want to want to contribute. To have some more calmness and relax and I uh, should have leave a little bit more white here, but you know what? Whatever. It's done. Don't fuss with it. Just let it be. Okay. Put some more shapes down here, some random shape, and maybe another car maybe another tree okay but this is darker than this this is darker than that let's just disappear into the atmosphere okay so now we got some depths already how good is that okay now i will just continue Okay. I mean, it's, I don't need to. I don't need to blow anything dry. I'll just continue painting darker mixtures. Okay, now to help out the value, I, I've been changing my brush. I'm still using my number fourteen. Let's go to versatile. This is such a versatile brush. No pun intended. Okay gonna add a little bit of cobo black or you can use neutral tin whatever I just want to have a little bit of granulation doing a little bit of experience with colors okay so let's see if this is dark enough okay I think that's nice and dark okay so let's move here Okay, so just going to okay, there's the tip of my brush, doing a little bit of calligraphy, sign your name, whatever. Okay, just as long as every brush stroke you make, you have a little thought about it. This is tree branches, some leaves on it. Okay. It's as simple as that, okay? Just don't go autopilot. Okay, really look at your painting and think about where you want your brush stroke to be. Okay, varying your brush stroke a little bit. Use the side. Okay, use the tip. Use the tip here. Use the side here. Here, there we go. Okay, a little bit too much even gap. I'm going to disrupt this a little bit. I don't want to make it into a pattern here. So do that while you still can. Mm -hmm. Some darker here. Okay, continue that tree trunk here. The tree trunk goes all the way down. Okay. 
I'm not sure yet. I need to practice more. Sorry, I haven't looking at the chat for much. This is just so good. Thank you, Karen. That's your name, right? Simple shoes. That's your <laughs> Karen, right? <laughs> I try to remember everybody's name. Okay, so let's have some of the tree go off the edges. I mean, I'm probably going to crop it after it's done but you know have some tree go off the edges okay I'm just gonna use a little bit more black down here just to make my life easier okay 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 some more cobalt black mix with some other colors okay a little bit more black here. It's a little bit wet now. It was getting really dry. It's kind of hard to keep it flowing. But that's one of the things that when you're painting with darker color, your mixture is going to be dry. So, you know, it could be a little bit bothersome. That is, it's really dry. It's kind of hard to paint. But if you try to make it too wet it's going to turn into too transparent and that's not going to do well for your washes okay or worse it's going to create cauliflower edges so let's not do that okay okay i'm going to uh, that's too much empty spaces here Okay. Uh, still kind of bother me how much pattern there is. I mean, in the photo, it's kind of like that too, but I think I need to break away from the photo a little bit. There, I think that's a little bit better. Let me spray a little bit of water in, from the distance. A little bit cobalt turquoise. Hi, Debbie. Wait, sunrise at your time? Okay, so, you know, a lot heavier down here, which is what we want, right? We want lighter and softer on the top, and as we go down here, where the trees are, you know, getting bigger and lusher is a lot denser and is darker as well so this goes in here and the tree sort of ends here with some bushes and whatever Just, you know, we can kind of keep it a little bit abstract that's fine okay I'm gonna Use a damp brush, soften some of these edges. Tap a little bit of water on it. Okay. Uh, grab some cobalt black. I'm gonna just add a little bit more dark inside of here. Now it's not going to do much, but Hopefully, it will give it a little bit more variation within this wash, within this dark shape. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush because I want to start do the car. Simple enough for you guys. Just take a little bit of time trying to define the branches and the trees and stuff. Okay. Just grabbing a little bit of blue color. 
Okay, so... Uh, Oops, there's a droplet here. Okay, so... Here, I'm going to paint the car here. A little bit darker on the right. The car is reflecting the trees over here. So you're going to see a little bit of darker on this side. Okay, that's not because of shadow, that's because of the reflection of the tree. Okay, something to keep in mind here. And I'm going to darken the body of the car, the bumper of the car, just a little bit more. So it pops out. Okay, the bumper is darker. The side and the tire, front tire peeking out a little bit, back tire, and have the tire connect to the shadow, which is down here. Okay, it's a, all a single shape. Okay. Now I'm going to use a damp brush. And soften this so it's a soft reflection. Okay, make sure it's damp brush. Okay, don't go into the wet brush and ruin what you had. Okay. okay, and that shadow goes up a little bit, merge into the tree. Just let it do that. Never heard of Cobalt Black either. That's from Mission Gold. So I actually don't know what's the color for the other brand. Mission Gold has some you know, interesting color names. So I don't know what's the corresponding colors. Okay. How are we doing? I think it is, I think this is decent. Okay. So now that's do another layer here there's another tree here so I'm just gonna grab okay this this tree is a little bit lighter than what we have here so I'm not going to not going to mix too much mixture into it but do make sure your mixture is nice and dry okay Let's see it's still quite moist down here so if your mixture is not dry cauliflower happen okay i have nothing against cauliflower i think it's very nutritious and i like eating it but i don't want it on my painting sorry Sorry for the bad joke, I, I try to be funny. <laughs> Cobalt black granulates a little bit, which is why I like it. So it goes on the row. <laughs> yeah, there's a figure with a white hoodie. I just decided to add it in. Yeah. Now all of a sudden this painting turns very creepy as it goes there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I think that's all we need. Something on the left. Okay, hopefully we all see the depths now. Okay. We might need to make a glaze on the road, but that comes later. I want to work on the figure now. I have no idea how long California will last in the fridge. I I have three I have three boys. One is turning to a teenager, so we are emptying our fridge really fast every day it's kind of scary actually all right so let's do our figure now the skin is going to be a little bit warm but i'm not i'm gonna try not to make it too warm because it is you know, it's going to contradict all the color tones that we have here so 
and again I have no reference here so I'm just going to make kind of like a dull orange here okay grabbing some of the gray color I have just let's see if I let's see if this will work okay I think this I think that's fine just a little bit hints of warmth and you know, the rest of it we really don't need okay and kind of transparent but I think that's fine okay and I actually want this hoodie to be quite quite light almost kind of I mean it's a white hoodie but we still want to give it a little bit of shade so like a little bit of shadows on his arm his arm is in his front pocket I don't know what is those call because the hoodie has this this loop of pocket here so here's some shadow down here okay we'll give it a little bit of shadow on top of the head too okay his head is covered in the hoodie so okay. clean my brush dried it and we'll soften this edge just a little bit okay slightly bluer for the jean or whatever he's wearing one leg in the front another in the back okay so he just kind of walking enjoying the chilly morning without worrying too much about what's going on in the world keeping social distancing love you guys are just talking about yourself i mean i said it many times but i love that this turn is seemed to like a community that's something i definitely enjoy doing okay let's just give him a tiny little bit of shadow okay so it's not floating if it's floating then he'll really turn into a ghost and i don't want that i don't want people to say oh this is like a metaphorical painting there's a ghost in the morning and yeah like that's not that kind of painting i'm just trying to make it mystic morning okay a little figure here a couple cars here we're pretty much done actually i just need to darken the road a little bit because right now this seems a little bit too light i need to push the distance just a little bit more that being said i do think we can use a little bit more color so there's some like dry leaves and stuff here i'm seeing I'm just gonna maybe hint a curbside or something there's a tiny little hints of colors here yeah okay but again everything is very very muted it's, it's a foggy morning you don't see a lot of colors okay all right so far so good okay um we're pretty close to finish i'm going to blow it dry and then do a glazing for the road and we're pretty much done so let me Mute the mic.
Okay. I am going to just glaze this road. You guys are making some funny comments. <laughs> Painting foods. Probably I I probably will one day. I wanted to paint food for a while. I just haven't not sure what food to paint. Okay, so let's Okay, do want to make the road a little bit darker down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the painting around. So pretty much like how I paint the sky. But I'm painting the road, so... Okay, a little bit green. I think that's fine. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue here. I have, you know, a few seconds to do this. Okay. Okay. So that nice and dark. I'll clean my brush a little bit. I'll grab some more colors and a little bit wetter down here, and then I'll clean my brush, dried it, and I'm just gonna soften the rest of this wash here, okay. I don't know if it's dark enough though. Yeah, I think it's okay. Don't need to make it too dark. Okay, the figure here, I think that's a little bit too white. I'm just going to give a little glaze as well. Okay. I think we're done. I'll give this car a tiny little bit of color of of tail light, but it's not it's not driving, so it's not lit it on. It's just a little transparent red glaze, a little bit more. Okay, just to give it a little bit of color here. You can probably barely see it, I mean, it's, yeah. Okay, thank you, Barbara. You must be really tired, so go to sleep. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, it's not it's not terribly complicated, I hope, and I'm trying to make it simple so for you guys to follow. Again, the color is not really matter here. The value and the wet onto wet is a little bit more important here. And as you can see, I'm I'm not trying to compete with the photo. Okay, I might need, still need to darken the road a little bit more, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much what. I want to do and hopefully when if you're watching the recording you can follow along pause it if you need to next week I will do a flower we'll do the Chinese magnolia which is interesting I haven't do that myself so I hope you guys enjoy this demo happy Easter yes okay. and I will see you guys next week stay safe stay healthy and it's very very important that you guys are staying safe and healthy